new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you A white woman who attracted close to 2 million followers on Instagram after naming her handle almost identically to the book title of the best-selling black female author has apologized for capitalizing off of her work. Ijoma So You Want to Talk About Race was published in 2018 and became a bestseller after the Minnesota cop took the life of George Floyd last summer. Jessica Natale created a popular Instagram account with the handle So You Want to Talk About Race in February of 2020. A published post about voting rights, gun reform, and sentencing of Derek Chauvin. The account flourished so well that Natalie got a book deal with Little Brown in April. The Guardian reports that Alua became aware of Natalie's account last year and expressed her concern in an IG story. Quote, last summer in the middle of a global uprising for black lives, the popularity of my work skyrocketed. And so in the middle of this, while dealing with the trauma of being a black person in America, I'm getting these messages from people saying, quote, is this you? I'm like, this is exactly one word short of my book title that is currently selling out of stores everywhere and it's talking about race and other issues so i reached out to the page and i was like this is really similar to my book title i would like to know who was behind this account alua says she got no response but that a disclaimer was added to tell readers that alua was not affiliated with this account quote I knew with that response that this was a white person immediately because otherwise you wouldn't ignore that question who's behind this account it's actually been really heartbreaking to hear from hundreds of people who didn't know this wasn't my page. The IG account was renamed to So Informed out of respect for Ijoma Elul. Natalie has also apologized for the harm that she also caused Elul. Her book's publication has since been paused. Natalie stated, quote, I recognize that once again, people of color have had to carry the burden of education, and I regret that my actions have increased this burden. This page is about truth and dialogue. This conversation will be ongoing. Thank you all for holding me accountable. Now, this is what was directly left out of the article, and it was left out for a very important reason, because the main thing that should be focused is the fact that you have a black woman who created something so successful that others had to piggyback off of her success in order to become successful, right? And this is what it stated, creating a safer space for one group and another group and people with disabilities to voice their concerns. This will be a space to allow this community to raise concerns and to flag harm. Messages on this app are often missed as there are many. By creating a separate space that will be monitored, it will allow concerns to be seen and addressed. Right, the next one. I want to publicly acknowledge this community and that community and disability experts who have contributed their works, experiences, and voices to this page who have been so instrumental in making this page what it is. Like I said, once it starts getting too hot in the kitchen, this is when people start leaving. What does all of these other people have to do with the fact that you stole the name, that you wrote it so similar that people didn't like think critically and they automatically assumed that the original writer of the book also made this page? This is where you got your, your, your fame from. This is where you got all of that publicity from. It was free. You decided to be slick because you thought that nobody was going to see. You thought that she wasn't going to see it. And you thought that you were going to be able to just make a lot of money off of this, which more than likely she's still making a lot of money, right? Because all of her posts are getting, you know, 13, 13 K, 20 K, you know, a lot of stuff, right? So she's making, she's still making money, you know, directly off of that. Maybe not as much, right? Maybe the publication of that book probably would have added some more on there. But at the end of the day, she's still making money off of stolen things right no matter if she changed right the name this is how they do in history right in order to not acknowledge and not give credit to black people what they'll do is they will hide the truth and they'll change the name and rewrite a little bit of something and then put it out there while still plagiarizing right while still stealing a lot of that ingenious information from you know african-american uh people and or africans and you know us in general this is what they do so after she was already caught, 
she didn't technically initially give an apology she technically didn't even give a real type of response to the writer she was like oh let me change the name and then after that let me you know put some things out there to make it seem like hey i really care she doesn't she doesn't at the end of the day this is why this is clearly why she wanted to highlight the fact of everybody else who has contributed to the page and made the page what it is as if to make it seem as though yes i did use the name but it wasn't your name that did it it was all of these other people that contributed to this page that made this page what it is that's what she's doing like i said this is this is the games that they like to play this is why black people can't have nothing nice this is exactly why we can't have nothing nice because there will always be somebody out here trying to profit and steal off of our creativity i promise you if this black woman did not come out with this book do you really think that this woman's ig page would have been like really booming like this nah it wouldn't have been it would have been just like everybody else's ig page where they put out information and different stuff like that like she would have had maybe like a couple thousand people there but nobody would have really acknowledged. You wouldn't really have celebrities or uh, celebrity IG pages following that page. They all followed that page because they assumed that it had to do with the writer of the book, and it didn't. But, you know, like I said before, they always want to say that, oh, you know, all black people do is, you know, they complain and they never, you know, create anything. We give them everything and they just take, 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 take. Look at this. Look at this. You got a woman who is obviously not even black who decided to take from a black woman and then wants to start listing everybody else as if they are the main ones that contributed to the success and the money that she's getting when it's 100 percent live. You need to be grateful and thankful that that black woman even exists, that she even had the foresight to even write that book at the time that she wrote it, because if she didn't, there wouldn't even be a story out here about you matter of fact you wouldn't even have the option to even have a publication for a book i'm not even sure how you even writing a book at this time but whatever but anyways let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that i listed in the comment description below and as always peace love and stay tuned for the next video